Hello, welcome back to the channel. I am this weekend doing two time trials. Well, one individual, one team time trial, but with a difference. I'm not here for me. I'm here for some juniors. Part of my relationship with Cams, I help out the Fensham, F the Fensham team, which Cams also sponsor. And part of that is doing a time trial weekend. So we're gonna go say hello. We're at Redditch, we're in Redditch for an open 10 on a fairly technical course. They are warming up as per the plan. The most aero you'll ever see these two, because the camera's running. Got look good. <laughs> it's Luca, Harrison, Toby, and Dad. <laughs> Right, so we're the first lad Harrison's off. Or he should be off. He definitely came this way because he came out of the junction up there before yeah. me in the car and I was quite a bit back, but then he wasn't there and he's gone for a pee or something like that. But... Part of this is to... The element of leaving them to their own devices to get themselves to the warmed up and to the start line by themselves. Someone's not always going to be there to do it for them. We might have had our first. And hopefully his last late start. <laughs> this isn't him, is it? He's got a... Uh... What time did you say local was off? Ten. Sorry? Ten. little acceleration draft back up to speed. Right, Harrison has turned up, I think. It's clear! Up, up! We got a little bit worried. We lost Harrison for 13 minutes and then we saw him fly by. Looked like he had the bit between his teeth. It's not gonna make up a 13 minute deficit, so whatever time he's given today will be 13 minutes short of what it actually is. That's part of this weekend. You've got to be able to get yourself to the start line. And as he, as he left HQ, he was uh, saying, which way is it to the start? It's kind of need to know this stuff. Because even, even when I was a pro, there would be moments where you leave the bus and you ride by yourself to the start. So, uh, you yeah, know, I'd imagine this is the last TT start that Harrison ever misses. Part of the process. Toby, good ride. Thank you. Happy with it? Yeah, I am. Been a bit all lately as well, so. Yeah. You got nationals next week. National champs, it's yeah. a pretty good weekend for a tune up, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you get held up at all? Uh, a little bit. Just before me was a man with a tricycle. Yeah, yeah. About a minute down the road, like, stuck behind the horse lorry in about five cars. Yeah. Managed to get past him. So you lost about three minutes, yeah? Yeah, we'll yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, got stuck behind the mower home. But that was about 40 mile an hour. Yeah. It wasn't too bad, but... Might have got a bit of a draft. Yeah. 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 Part and parcel with these courses. Um, That's good. Do you think you paced it well? Yeah, I do. I think doing what you said on the downhills helped as well. Yeah. That helped a lot, but I kept my power up, so, yeah. Good man. Good man. It's all right. Probably helped them all. Yeah. You got, you got probably worst held up out of everyone, didn't you? Yeah. That's yeah. Some car, car push brain test. You had to hop on the pavement. Yeah. Uh, Great. It's part and parcel of British time trialling. Exactly. But got it all out? I think so. Yeah. I think maybe if I knew the course a little bit better, I could have not yeah. to give it everything by the end. But yeah, I got most of it out. Yeah. Good man. Team time trial tomorrow. Yeah. You, me, and Harrison. If he turns up. Hopefully. <laughs> Good ride, Harrison. We won't. We won't. Yeah. We've, we've, oh, we've given you enough stick for the yeah. late start. Yeah. Well done for. You got it all out. 
Uh, yeah, I think I did all right, though. Yeah. The natural time I was on my bike. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't shake you in the head at all? No, no, I just kept, kept focused. Yeah. I feel like I lost a bit of my warmth. But, yeah. But. Uh, some people would have, that would have done them, and they'd have sort of fair play for getting it all out. Probably don't take that with you. Yeah. <laughs> well done, mate. That's day one done. Um, it was nice. It was nice. It, so Toby was quick. For not much power either. That's um, that's good. It's good. And he's using the cask visor with the gurney flap, which doesn't work on an awful lot of people. And he hasn't tested, so it's um, yeah. We've got no idea if, if it's uh, yeah. So Harrison, it was, it was good. Harrison kept his head on despite missing the start by 13 minutes and just made a made a good job of the day. And yeah, I think Luke had a few hold-ups, so he's uh, for tomorrow, Team Time Trial Nationals. CTT have let us come in as a composite team, uh, two composite teams. And I'm with Harrison and Luca, and then Toby is with Oliver Dawson, who is Kevin Dawson's son, a uh, legend of the time trial scene, and James Jenkins, who I have roped in to assist. We are first and second team off. And yeah, I think we can we can give the quick men's teams something to think about. Expecting to be the stronger of the three of us, but I am going to ride to their abilities, not mine. And then maybe towards the end, if it depends on what I've got, start really leaning into it. You know, because this is a learning exercise for them um, experience and, and yeah, I know a team time trial, if you're taking an absolute belting, it's not really a productive experience. Want them to feel like we're riding as a unit, not um, as a one and a one and two, I think. I don't know how to explain that best, but that's the plan. Anyway, time for a premiere in, some dinner, an early night. a S-Works shiv, um, given to me by Andrew McQuaid from Trinity. It's got some Kadex skis, and some drag to zero pads, and some zip wheels. Not too bad. So we're on CTT Championship Day, something I'm very familiar with. I have a lot of silver medals from these events. Um, team time trial today. I'm here with two, with the Fenchon boys, two composite teams. So we don't count for results officially, so I actually cannot get a silver medal today, even if we were in line to win a gold medal. It's all just part of this weekend's like learning process. Uh, it's going to be hard. It's a rolling course, 25 miles, three start and three to finish. So really, the focus, I've said the focus for us is going to be managing the first half, making sure we're riding, each riding within our abilities so that we're not losing losing out big time kind of implode I mean, there's going to be some team explosions i think today from other teams hopefully considering all the boys ride for different teams we're quite well re represented with no pins uh, obviously i'm in full no pins hypersonic get up with my knee length socks over socks luca bednarek who rides for bottrell when he's not riding for fensham he's in hypersonic toby bush also rides for bottrell but I don't believe he has hypersonic. I think he has the old uh, Endura encapsulator um, kit still, which is good suit. We've also roped in, so it's two teams of three, so we have two composite teams here. James Jenkins, who is in a 
Rafa skin suit. <laughs> he did a 50 yesterday in an hour 36. 50 miles in an hour 36. Off like 320, no, 310 watts or something. Like that's, maybe the Rafa suit is quite fast. Yeah, but he would have gone a minute faster and no pins. Hyper no, no, no. You can put that in. Ollie Dawson, uh, who you just met with his very detailed bike, bike spec check. And, um, and Harrison Dainty. My team is Harrison and Luca. Toby's team is Toby, James and Oliver. Look, they put my step out already. I'm Jake Sargent, ride for Team Bottrell, here with my teammates. Um, we're in Gloucester, Maysmore, for the National Team Time Trial Championship. We're defending team, so we're, we're here to win. But, fierce competition as always. Alex Dowsett, another notorious no-pins rider, is here. I don't know what his team's like, but I imagine he's going to go quite quick. I think we've got, what, one, two, three, four teams, potentially? Yep. Yeah. Both men's, men's and women's top spots hopefully go towards us, if not a no-pins team. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. We've got uh, Rob Francis and Axel Dopfer. Me and Axel won it last year, so with our lovely, lovely team manager, Matt Bottrell. So yes, hopefully a repeat of last year. We'll see. No pins, hypersonic suits, hypersonic overshoes, base layers, the works. I've got the. Uh no pins, hypersonic skin suit on, with the uh, under vest on as well. What's the point? Go quicker. <laughs> yeah. So I was um, doing a 50 and I put a bladder down um, the skin suit so that I could hydrate as I was riding. And yeah, so I could pump it back up with air afterwards. And then, uh, yeah, I was just putting my um, toe cover on and it just burst open and I was a bit stuck in it at the neck. So luckily my boyfriend was there to wrestle me out of it and I, put, and I had a different skin suit to take. So yes, um, panicked and sent a message to no pins and they very kindly, I sent it next day delivery on the Monday and I had it back by the Thursday fixed and with a chunkier zip on it. So um, hopefully now, yeah, all good and it will it will stay where it is. So yes, very happy. Hello, my name is Rob Francis. Uh, I race for Team Bottrell. Um, we are currently at the National Team Time Trial in Maisie Moor. It's a 25 mile and time trial and hopefully win the national jersey. So today it's me, Jake Sargent and Axel Dofer. This is my first for Team Bottrell, yes. Yeah, we should go sub 50. Take 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 and Jake's individual course record, hopefully. I've been hitting power PBs all this year, so fingers crossed, it's all good on the day. No pins, the, the hypersonic kit with the hypersonic and base layer and overshoes. And I've set PBs this year in every single event that I've done. Easy wins. I'm going to say bike fit and clothing. Your body's the biggest part of the system that's moving through the air. Most bikes, there's not a whole lot you can do with these days. They're pretty integrated. They're pretty clean at the front end. So chasing chasing what's on there is going to be a really expensive task. But best value for money. Going to get <clears throat> a bike fit. Get your position optimised. Matt Bottrell, first, first person that comes to mind, obviously. A few hundred quid. Really optimise that. And you think, got your position optimised. You need to cover yourself up. Fast kit, huge, huge gains to be made from having the right clothing. So a really quick skin suit is going to cost you a few hundred quid. An open skin suit, fast base layer. You know, you've saved tens minutes almost just from tweaking your position and making sure you're wearing the right stuff.
the boat just came up. The boat just right? came up. But it happened at like mile four or five. So I've ridden like half of the race. Just, just pressing it down. Like, pressing it down like, and over it. Yeah. And then now it's... Um, <coughs> I basically saw him at the side of the road and was like, I'm just gonna throw him my bar. So I like bit and I've like bit it off to go throw it to him, but then I couldn't shift anymore and on this course it's like what's the fucking point then if I'm stuck in this gear? Just couldn't keep up anymore. But they're doing really well. I think they're up on the other guys, on the guys who are like looking oh, to Oh, would win it stop it. the shifting on the base bar as well? No no, because that's only for the big ring though. Oh shit, okay. So that's for the small. But we're stuck. This is where Shram wins, unfortunately. Shit. Don't kick him out while he's down. That's brutal. You just like, like hit this side. I didn't go all the way. Sure, Shram. Just slid down right over here. They're at 35 miles an hour, I reckon you've done alright then. Yeah. Look at that. I didn't even know. That's done its job, though. Didn't even feel you, mate. <laughs> what was the first time we ran into? <laughs> Did you actually hit the first few times? Oh, for God's sake. Yeah. Got around, lost, lost a rider, lost Axel because his front end came off. But uh, time was good. Time was good. Legs were good. Over high 48. Speed's good. Good position and great turns. Kept the climbs all together. It's flattering, aren't you? Yeah. We'll have to see what the official results say. 10 miles in. I'm getting flat out on the front, as you should be. And Something hit my chest <laughs> when Axel was on the front. I thought it was a stone. Axel, Probably a bolt. Axel then I'm peeled off. I then peeled off. And then Jake was on the front. Some shouting behind. And, and he's, got a, shouting. he's got a dangling and extension. His front was down there. Mm, he tried to carry on, but... He can't really ride trying to hold his front end up. Yeah. It's just not from going to his wheel. When you're doing 40 miles an hour, it's kind of hard to sort of hold on sideways. Yeah. So we just, crack, we just cracked on. National Team Time Trial Championships and... Uh, it's, it's tough to know whether this is a CTT event or a Matt Bottrell event, really, because Matt's got half the field, literally half the field. There is an A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way through to G team for Bottrell. There's two of them here. Yeah, <laughs> on your team, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I had one of them. I, that's, uh, I think Matt was quite upset. He couldn't, all, couldn't get all the way through to Z. So, yeah, it's, it's Battle of Clash of the Titans. Uh, us versus Matt. John Archibald's here as well, but eh. <laughs> I mean, now that you've got fast kit, Matt, you, you still better watch yourself. We're coming for you. We're good. We're all good. We're, I think, considering that under 18, or juniors, under 18s, I think we've done ourselves quite proud. We're about a minute off, minute or two off the winning time. Um, which on a course, like the, the gaps would be closer if this was a faster course. And I think hearing what happened to other teams, with punches, crashes, broken handlebars. I think we did well to come away from relatively unscathed, to be honest, uh, and have, like, we were managing, my, my team was managing Harrison. Uh, James Jenkins' team was, they had a good, solid return leg. Yeah, hopefully they've taken a lot from it as well. I, I know they have. They've got national TT champs next week, so with a 10 yesterday and, uh, and this today, I reckon that's a really nice TT bike hit out. Certainly Ollie was saying he's changed his position a bit and was getting some hamstring issues, so highlighted that another ride or two for him is probably needed before Saturday. Yeah, and, uh, Harrison needs to work on just sitting on the only... Harrison was more than strong enough, it just, it's just... It's difficult to sit. He needed to sit a little bit closer to the wheel than he was, which is, I think, really what buckled him. And then when that effort gets on top of you, making those decisions, adjustments, like having to think. Like once the effort's on top of you, your ability to think uh, becomes far less, um, which would have really uh, made his life like exponentially more difficult to, to sort of do do a good ride. So I think this has been a very productive weekend for the Fenton boys, to be honest. So, uh, and I hope they'd agree, but they're, they're juniors, so they're, they're men of few words generally. Grunts. They grunt. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was good. Uh, it's just nice to get out there and ride with the boys. You know, like joking aside, before the, the start, obviously said we were going to smash the house it. I don't think that quite happened. But yeah, no, for us, uh, for our, our team, it was just really good. You know, like we managed to get four teams here today. Obviously, we we wouldn't pulled off the win with our 18, but unfortunately we had the mechanical. But for Jake and uh, Rob to have ridden like a 48 round here is pretty incredible. Testament really to 
you know, not only the, you know the training that, that we're doing with the, the athletes, but just like the you know the clothing that we're wearing, we've definitely seen like a performance game, you know, overall. So uh, if we can have achieved a win with the you know our female athletes and the men in. Uh, well, it's not going to be our men, is it? Because you have to qualify with three, but it, it should have gone that way. It's just unfortunate, but it, it's good to see, you know, like the results that the team have had like this year have just been phenomenal, really. Uh, and obviously now we're coming into the prime time for the national championships. Yeah, everybody's looking really good. Uh, obviously, we'd like to come away from this with some medals uh, and do do the brand of No Pins proud. That's what we what we want to do, really. So uh, we'll keep pushing. No Pins are, are listening to our feedback with the, the clothing and everything else. So it's excellent exciting times. Ollie, good fun. race? Yeah. Man, a few right. words, simple yes or no is fine. Yeah. Good. JJ, good race? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very pleased with it. Harrison? Yep. Everything, got everything yep. out Harrison, didn't you? Yeah. 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 JP, happy? Oh, buzzing. Yeah. 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 Good. Toby? Yeah. Good day. Yeah, good you had a good ride, didn't you? It was all right. Yeah, you were buzzing afterwards. Yeah, yeah. should be Harrison. <laughs> Biggest competition. <laughs> I reckon the person that learned the most from this weekend, though, is Harrison. So next Turning weekend. Up. Next weekend, you're in trouble. <laughs> that was great. It was great. We'll uh, do a full debrief in a minute. We'll go see what the times are, see what the big boys have done, and see if we. Uh, Gave him something to think about. Hi, I'm Ed Clancy OBE, three-time Olympic gold medalist and CAMS ambassador. CAMS is one of the UK's leading cycle accident management companies and works with hundreds of bike shops all over the UK. Operating 24-7, 365 days a year, CAMS have assisted thousands of cyclists to get back on their bikes. And here's how CAMS can help you. If you've had a cycling accident that wasn't your fault, contact our dedicated team of advisors who will take down the details of your accident. CAMS will arrange for your bicycle to be inspected at your local bike shop. Whether you're a weekend rider, a daily commuter, or a competitive racer, CAMS understands how important the bike is to you. CAMS will then help you get a replacement bike and helmet up front from your chosen bike shop so you don't have to wait for the insurance company to pay out. CAMS can assist you from minor accidents to more serious injuries. CAMS helps to take the worry out of what can be a very stressful situation. CAMS is here to help you move forward with your life and more importantly, get cycling again. If you've unfortunately been injured as a result of the accident, support is on hand. CAMS will recommend specialist solicitors who will support you at every stage of the claim and ensure that you're properly compensated. With over 25 years of experience, CAMS are a team of friendly expert professionals who will get you back on two wheels. 